Hello guys, welcome back to another movie review and today we are reviewing ISS. <laughs> ISS is the movie uh, starring Ariana DeBose and it is basically about the um, International Space Station and what would happen if, um, you know, that was, you know, that space station is obviously is operational and stuff. But what would happen if uh, Russia and America had like a war? Because two countries, they both, um, there's some history there, I didn't really take it in really, but basically they... They share the station and look after it for the world, basically. So it's kind of like a joint effort. But obviously, over the last few years, Russia, America have had a lot of conflict recently. So they decided to make a film about what would happen if, you know, that happened. And then how would the people react on the station? It starts really like, you know, they're all friends. They get on and then obviously they get contacted by each country. And they're like, you know, take the ISS by any means necessary, a.k.a. kill all the Americans or kill all of the Russians and, you know, take it for the country. Because all of a sudden, you, the, the people, like, compact. Patriots, I guess, um, from other countries are no longer your friends. You have to like switch your mindset. So that was the premise of the film, and that was trying to uh, trying to actually portray. Uh, directed by Gabriella Kowawait. Kaua uh, never heard of her before. Um, uh, but when I did look into it, she was the director of the documentary Blackfish, which is the whole Sea World, you know, um, you know, killer whales and stuff shouldn't be in captivity, which is an amazing documentary. But ISS is a movie. I didn't enjoy it. Um, it's, it is almost like the game Among Us, um, which we're actually getting a film of coming up very soon, um, an animated film, I think. But yeah, it's, it follows that kind of thing in terms of among, like, who, who do you trust among the crew? Uh, because, you know, one of the, you know, some of the Russians or the Americans are like, no, I'm not going to kill my Russian friends and, and vice versa. So there is that element going on as well. But with a very small cast, only actually six people in the movie, led by Ariana DeBose, who plays Kira Foster. Um, she's like a new, uh, doctor that has just been you know on her first mission in space she's there for literally two days and then all of a sudden you know they can see down um that america has basically been attacked by russia with nuclear bombs and all of america has like got fire over and stuff like that and it is quite a bit of a you know an upset and uneasy you know watch i guess in that aspect because at that point the characters are very much caring about the people down below but I think that's where the the difficulty in the film was. I think, you know, when I watch something like Gravity, which is a very similar type of film in terms of like an isolation film on a space station and all that, even though that film is very much led by, you know, one, two, three people, you know, there's more emotion in that film than I think this film managed to gather. And I think that's where it went wrong. I think they, they missed a bit on the emotion aspect. I didn't care who died. I wasn't bothered. Like, do you know what I mean? Then maybe that's down to performances. Maybe that's down to script. Maybe that's down to like special effects. Didn't sell me the story. But there was definitely something missing in that aspect. Now, I like to think I'm quite critical when it comes to space films because space films are like my genre that I like most of and I really love them. And anything space related I'm all for and I usually get really excited for and I was very excited for this film but it just fell a bit short for me and I felt like I just like I said I didn't care and ultimately if you go into a film and you're out and you're thinking you know that's fine then you probably will think this is a good watch and that's where some of the scores have been in that two and a half three star range which is like it's a decent watch it's fun but I've seen it now I'm never gonna watch her again kind of vibes you know but for me I'm, I'm lower than that I'm actually a one and a half star I think for me it didn't actually sell that story I think I was very much missing that um that you know engrossment of 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 something I, I didn't care you know I was very much like you do you kind of vibes and and that's that I think ultimately it could be a lot better it had a lot of potential I think the concept was pretty cool but I think maybe there was a lack of budget lack of big stars lack of a good director lack of you know good crew around it that ultimately made it thing I think a lot of the promotional stuff was good posters all of that it makes it look really good and I was really excited for it but on the flip side this is very much it could have been like a straight to streaming release or straight to like a, um, a DVD even really like you know what I mean I think it it missed that cinematic experience and that wow factor for me I very much did feel like a small movie so yeah one and a half star it didn't it didn't entirely engross me into the movie I think the, the the music was good in there and um and some of the effects were pretty sick like actually like when they were outside and you know outside the space station in in space and how they handled zero gravity and all that I think some of the aspects were quite good but that's as far as it went it didn't sell me the story I didn't particularly care about the characters and ultimately we are where we are. So there it is, guys. There is my review of ISS. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.